As I have already said for this tutorial, or in this use case, you uh, will need QGIS, which is publicly available and open source. And um, the its for land boundary delineator is an extension or plugin. And we find it through plugins, manage and install plugins. Um, a new window opens and here you can filter to not installed plugins and here you can actually look for a delineator and then you would find um, the extension boundary delineation and in the information box here on the right you see that this plugin um, helps you to simplify manual digitization from remote sensing imagery and also a little bit more information on the project and how it was funded. So we install this plugin because it's the basis for this little, little um, um, demo case, showcase, and we will um, load the data in a second step and start investigating the plugin. Yes, I have uploaded the little auto photo, which is provided by the creators of this plugin, and also data delineation data, where boundaries have automatically been delineated. And if you would work in tenure management or tenure mapping, usually you would use one of these UAV data sets and manually digitize land holdings, agricultural plots, and yeah, it's quite time consuming. And also it involves several loops with tenants, experts, and so forth to kind of map the individual parcels and digitize them. And with this tool, you can use the automatically created uh, boundaries, which are here in as lines, as a line shape file, and you can click that's here the widget of this um, extension tool. And here you can um, define the raster base map and um, yeah, process in a first step um, segments and vertices, which can now be used to create polygons and work with them further. And you can see that we are now in a second step um, in the process of this boundary delineation and with the now slightly changed cursor we can click in one yeah we can say parcel or field and then define quickly with clicks what belongs to that parcel and what doesn't and here you could for instance also involve local residents or experts and then quickly uh, map these plots. And then, as you might have guessed, here I chose that we actually map polygons because that would be a field then as a polygon. And here you can click on accept. And then what happens is that we have now created, not as candidate anymore, but as final here in the left, a polygon based on a semi-automated a semi-automatic um, delineation and then by us visually um, and interactively defining the boundary and with this process i could go on and quickly map all these fields and plots you see here and also generalize that a bit further um, of course, as I have said before, we cannot see the tenure here, but we can use this extension to provide with additional knowledge uh, rapidly different tenure data for administrative purposes, 
uh, different project purposes, etc. Once we finish here by the button finish, we would have created the uh, tenure data set as polygons and could then save them as here we only have um, temporary layers. So it's quite a simple demonstration, but I think it's quite powerful because it shows how efficient um, high resolution imagery has made um, yeah, the work for land tenure. And also this showcase actually invites you to have a look at this web page, project web page, which I have shown you. It's for land to yeah, dive a bit deeper into this topic.